Jackson, Terrence Mann with Nick Batum, Avica Zubats, and Marcus Morris. The size of the Clippers. They can play that switchable defense, and Batum drops in the first jumper. Now, he only had seven on two of ten shooting. Stephen Clay, Wiggins, Looney, and Moody for the Warriors to start it off. Play very tough shot. And that's a good sign that he railed that ball. So sent him back door to Zubots, and Clay had to make the adjustment when he saw the the monster down there, Zubots. Zubots eight of ten against the Warriors in the Clipper win on February 14th. Morris, he against Clay. That's two great mid-range man's penetration. Warrior college player out of Florida State. He was a problem in the last meeting. He's so shifty. He's got great handle. Cycle to Batum, corner three is perfect. So teams seem to be getting off of her. A disaster in the backcourt. Curry's first shot. Wiggins tipping it up and out. Wiggins another rebound. Wiggins up and in. Just stay with it. He originally thought position to get the defensive rebound. Tonight's Warrior Shop item of the game. Savings 25. Oh, he's going to go crazy. Better get that to 30 quick. As a young center, I think a lot of teams would be very happy to have a guy like that. And defensively, they're good with him switching out to guys on the perimeter. You see the Clippers, they really reacted to the ball nicely there. Shot clock at eight. Wiggins trying to get down the lane. Dropped it to Looney. What a pass! That pass was amazing! See, that's why you want Andrew Wiggins and others to just get downhill because all these guys plus 70 and the plus minus, that's the sixth best in the NBA. He's playing really good basketball. Bone crushing screen got Curry all the way to the rim. I mean, he just wiped man out. Well, it's Looney and then the speed of Steph, the way Steph is moving. You're not just stationary, it makes you tougher to guard. Here's Man getting Steph on a switch. Steph did not allow the straight line drive. Batum missing, and Clay and Steph combined for the rebound. Thompson, he drove to get fouled there. Didn't get the contact call. Morris headed the other way. Marcus Morris, he'll keep shooting. And he can be a volume shooter either way. When he is on, he's a huge problem. Ray Thompson catch and shoot three. Follow his own shot. Foul line jumper. And rimmed it out. Just can't get off that front rim. Just need a little more knee bend for Clay Thompson. So the Warriors have started four of 16. But the good news is halfway through, they're holding the Clippers to only 11 points. They've been allowing nearly 37 in the first quarter of the last four games. Zubat's missing there, but we'd like to see that Warrior offense we've seen the last three games come alive. Steph, pump fake, floater, perfect. It's so good because Terrence Mann, this is the highest top block I think I've ever seen. Terrence Mann was top blocking Steph almost at half court, so he went back door, a little pump fake, got him inside. All right, you're almost square. You're down by one early. Our All-State Mayhem moment. Clay Thompson honored the Flint Tropics. And so when you're scuffling and you need a little change of mojo, there he is. Bob Myers looking for possible reinforcements. <laughs> brings out Will Farrell tonight. They could use it too. His energy is unmatched. Look at the defensive stance. Working with Clay. A textbook closeout. That's what we've been talking about. They worked out together. And Will Farrell. There was an ugly moment where Bob Myers and Draymond had to tell Will Farrell that he would not be signed to a two-way contract, and that was unfortunate. And he wasn't taking no for an answer. He, he ran not. out with the team, too. It was like, the Warrior roster is full. We love all our guys. Oh. There's not any room there. And then Will gave him his, his movie fee, and Bob <laughs> said, we really don't have any cap room for that. That man is pure comedy. Will Farrell is fantastic in every way. That was fun for you. But sometimes you have to remember, games are fun. Right? Fade away. Dropped in by Marcus Morris. So Jordan Poole's first playing time. Poole with that incredible night last night. Never had the whole defense stacked against him. He did score in the first quarter, but then finished with 32 and 8 made threes. 12 of 19 shooting. Shot clock at 5. Wiggins taking Zubox to the cup. Looney didn't give up on it. Beautiful reverse layup. But just the fact that Wiggins tapped. Attacked with so much ferocity.
Gage Looney the chance there. Well, they haven't made any jumpers, but 10 points in the paint out of the Warriors 12. You can live with that. If you keep doing that, eventually you would think the shots from outside are going to start to fall as soon as they start collapsing on you inside. Morris is getting that mid range, but Wiggins, that's good defense. Look at they have Batum on Steph. He's such a good defender, they're putting size on Curry. Pool from deep off iron. The Warriors literally cannot make a jumper at this juncture. That was a great look. Just because Steph crossed paths with him, took Jordan Poole's defender off of him. There's man for three, rebound battle. Zip up and out, Batum got it, and he draws the foul. Listen, they're not an amazing offensive rebounding team, but the Clippers are a smart team, and they know the Warriors can be undersized. They're undersized right now, so might as well use that to their advantage and get to the offensive glass. So, again, we always talk about the defensive rebound. It's the most important part of the defense. You, you make incredible multiple efforts defensively, and you don't finish with a rebound. It's frustrating, and it's really demoralizing. Kaminga and Bielitsa will check in. I'll tell you what Steve Kerr's happy with right now, though. Watching Denver go for 40, and you're watching Minnesota go for 38 on this last road trip in the first quarter. You're seeing some grit with the Warrior defense, and the scuffling and shooting is not leaking under the defensive side of the floor. And that's what we're thinking about. So with the way the Warriors have performed offensively lately, you would think they can get on fire here and start to build a lead if they keep playing defense like this. Curry and Kaminga. Kaminga! 